Load Hop Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing a Roblox video uh, with automating a specific game uh, for phishing. F I S C H Macro V11. So, fish, I guess is how it's pronounced. I don't really know. Um, if you don't know how to get Auto Hockey uh, installed in your video, look in the description below. I'll have a video on um, how to do that. But yeah, let's uh, take a look at the code real quick, and then we'll show it in action. Uh, I'm obviously not going to go and explain all the code here, just because it's, uh, what, 800 uh, lines of code, I believe? Eight, almost 900 lines of code, so we're not going to go over that. I'm just going to show you a few important things you might want to know. The script does work right off the bat pretty much by itself, but there are a few tweaks you can make if you want. So that would be be right here. General settings, you know, set to true to automatically lower the graphics to one. Uh, this is to help with lag stuff like that. Uh, if you don't want that, you can change the word true uh, to false. Uh, really anything, as long as it doesn't equal true. And uh, there's a few other settings, you know, all the automatic zoom in on the camera, which helps with the, how this macro works. Uh, but there's a lot of settings. But right off the bat, it pretty much works the way you want but if you want to tweak certain things, go ahead. Uh, the only other thing I would really say that you might care about is, let me try to find it here again. Uh, yes and no. Looking for, actually let me just search for a hotkey. There it is. So around uh, line 312, uh, you got these right here. Um, so like O reloads the uh, script, kind of like relaunching it. Uh, M exits the app, completely cr closes the macro down, uh, and then P, as you see, there's nothing here. That's because it just then continues on down here. That's what actually runs it. Um, you can see how it works a little better. You don't need to memorize these because they will be displayed in the game when you run this. Uh, these are just here in case you want to change like P to F1 like I do in a lot of my videos. So it's really up to you. Uh, but that's pretty much about all you really need to pay attention. Uh, this is an auto hotkeys V1, I believe. Yeah, this looks like V1 code. Uh, so like I said, just check the description below uh, to see that. And let's go ahead and I already got the game uh, here. So we're going to go ahead and launch it. I don't need voice chat. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely do. Throwing automation videos out every week. I have a few videos on Roblox. I believe this is like my fourth or fifth one, uh, specifically for Roblox. Yeah, try it out. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go into the game. Um, close out some of this stuff we don't need. And uh, oh yeah, claim whatever. Uh, let's just activate this mission so that you can see uh, what it's going on to. Blah blah blah. Catch three fish. Okay. So now we're just going to go find, uh, you know, wherever you want to fish. Um, this is something you just walk away from and it does for you however long you want. Uh, something to point out though, um, if you're having issues, uh, two things really. One is the game does need to be in window mode. It can't be full screen or it will not work. Um, so just make sure you're in window mode. As you can see, the bars up here at the top. So I know it's already in window mode. Um, the other thing too is if something goes wrong, I'm pretty new to this game, obviously. I've played it on my other account a few times, but I haven't got super into it. And I don't play Roblox a ton. Uh, in the description, I have a link to the Discord where you download this, by the way, uh, script. So it's called uh, Jumbo's Kingdom. And you just scroll down until you find Autofish, and it's right here for you to download. He also does have a video. Shout out to him if you want to check that out. Um, and then I'll also link to the... Uh, creator of this script because it's insane. It's probably one of the best auto hockey macros I've ever seen made. I mean, 800, uh, that's pretty crazy. So a lot of effort was put into that. Uh, and so I'd love to showcase this because just how great it is. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, we're in the game. We are in our friction spot. I'm going to go ahead. Here's the script. Uh, this is version 11. Obviously, stuff might change if another version comes out, but I believe the creator of this isn't really playing this game anymore based on uh, his comments and descriptions in some of his videos. Um, but over here, you can see uh, the tools uh, popped up, letting us know exactly uh, what we can press and uh, 
what the buttons do. Obviously, for some reason, part of my screen is cut off there. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay, it's not going to change that. I don't know why my part of my screen is cut off, but trust me, it's there, and that's just information about what's going on in the game. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're going to push P, and it's going to automatically do a few things. It's going to set my graphics down to uh, basically the lowest graphics. This is to help with FPS. Um, it's also going to automatically zoom into my character, uh, stuff like that. Um, so it's just basically running through. Uh, unfortunately, it is not working, and I believe that's because I don't have a... Uh, I didn't equip my rod. I don't know where that thing went. Let's try that again real quick. Sorry about that. But it's good to see mistakes being made because then you can learn too. Alright. If you guys have any other games that this would work in, uh, let me know. That's maybe kind of like spooked off this or this game's based off another thing. Alright, now my rod is equipped. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't paying attention. Like I said, I'm pretty new to this. Alright, let's go back to where we were fishing. Alright, that's a good spot. Alright, once again, we're going to go ahead, we're going to press P. Graphics, uh, you know, get changed, all that stuff. You can see in the, well, actually my face is covering it, but behind this little circle window, it was saying that it made the changes. Now the chat's obviously a little bit in the way there. Um, just because of whatever. I don't know. Why are we having issues here? Let's try that again. Why does it keep going to that? Alright, let's try that again. I think it messed up because the chat was there and it seems to think it's one of the shake uh, buttons. There we go. So it's obviously not going to be perfect every time, but as you see it's very quick. It's clicking all the little shake things and then it's going to do the little thing here. Uh, once again, it's not always perfectly accurate, but it's going to be better than what you can do uh, sitting here all day because you Walk away from this. It's great. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we caught a fish. And basically it's just going to wait a few seconds. Make sure everything's still set correctly. And then it's just going to go again. So we'll push circle to be done there. Or sorry, circle. O. And that's going to do that. We can then push M. And as you see, all the little tool tips there disappeared. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I'll try my best. Uh, check out other videos just because um, a lot of people have already probably answered those questions for you. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I have except for you know the first time you run this script, uh, depending on how uh, high level your uh, antivirus is, it might try to flag it even though it's not a virus. Uh, I've already gone through the code. It's pretty straightforward stuff, but you know, auto hotkeys is not a common scripting language, so sometimes the antiviruses aren't always sure what it is, so it's just being safe and sorry. Um, I have a video on that too that I'll try to link in the description too, uh, explaining what happens uh, with that. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.